Hello Virgo, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for tuning in. This is going to be another general reading to see who or what is coming towards you in love. Do keep in mind that the energies, the messages here could be interchangeable or vice versa. It could play out, you know, vice versa for you. This could be something happening now in the near future or the future. So the readings are timeless. So let's get started. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. All right. Let's see what is coming towards you in love. Angels, please tap me into the Virgo Collective. Tap me into their higher self. Tell me what I need to see for Virgo. And love. Tell me what I need to see for Virgo and love. What is coming towards the Virgo collective in love? What is coming towards the Virgo collective in love? What is coming towards the Virgo collective in love? <laughs> money or finances. Some of you are probably like, shit, fuck that. I am focused on my money and my finances. <laughs> but I mean, for some of you out there who need to see that, finances, money is going to be just fine for you. What is coming towards the Virgo collective in love, please? Also, the situation that you have going on could be, um, you know, something around money and finances. Okay, so then you have passionate romance. Who the hell y'all having a passionate romance with? And you have substances affecting your life. <laughs> Probably getting together and drinking or someone's drinking, thinking about you. One more card. <laughs> what is going towards Virgo in love, please? Virgo. Ooh. Okay, then you have moving. So, you know, this could resonate for someone out there moving. All right. Bottom of the deck is forgiveness. We shall see what the hell that got to do with it. Virgo, you could be dealing with um, an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, or a Gemini. Any of the signs that I say here can also be in your moon, your rising, or your Venus. Bottom of the deck is the moon in the reverse, so you could be dealing with a Pisces. Angels, what is coming towards the Virgo collective in love? What is coming towards the Virgo collective in love, Virgo? <clears throat> okay, so you have the Ten of Cups, the Five of Pentacles in the reverse. You know, I really don't like the way the Ten of Cups came out, so let's do that again. If it comes out, I'll take it. What is coming towards the Virgo collective in love, please? Yeah, I see you could be dealing with an Aquarius. You have the star here. And you have the nine of pentacles. So pentacles, pentacles, pentacles is showing up for you guys. So I feel like, honestly, a lot of you are like are single. Like you're single. You may not be actively talking to anyone right now. Perhaps you're more focused on your stability. Okay, you have the five of pentacles here and the nine of pentacles. Maybe you're trying to move. For some of you, you're trying to save up for a new home, for a new car. It's like love is like the least of your concerns is what I'm picking up. What is coming towards Virgo and love? Okay, so then you have justice. This For some of you, you could be married or you could be in um, a long-term relationship. You live with this person. could be dealing with a Gemini. I have a Libra here as well. One more card. What is coming towards Virgo and love? Shit slow. Let's see what it is. All right, so we have the three of pentacles here. So what I'm seeing here, Virgo, is um, with the justice card in reverse, it's like whoever the hell this person is, I feel like there's like some sort of injustice, okay, with the situation. Why am I picking up that there could be some sort of love triangle going on? On your side or their side because you do have the three of pentacles here so there's like a third factor perhaps one of these people I don't know maybe you met them at work maybe you're trying to um, get a divorce from someone that's what I'm seeing the lovers justice is right next to that but there's something else that's in the way three of pentacles 
<sighs> Let's see. What do I want to use to clarify? For some of you, this could be someone that you were married to or you were in a relationship with and you probably recently became single. You know, for whatever reason, maybe they had you in some sort of love triangle, some bullshit. And it's just like, okay, now they want to rebuild. Now they want to be with you again. Because remember, we did see um, forgiveness at the bottom of the deck. So this person did some shit that wasn't right to you, obviously. Justice in the reverse. And you could be um, in the process of healing, you know, to move on from the situation. This person, clarify the five of pentacles in the reverse for Virgo, please. Why is the five of pentacles in the reverse for Virgo? The six of so yeah, see that's what I'm saying. For some of you, like um, you're in a marriage or a relationship that you want to leave, but you can't leave yet. If it's not you, then it's your person, okay? They're in some sort of situation, they can't leave yet. You know, finances could be a thing for them. Yeah, the Empress is here. Could be a Taurus or a Libra involved, and then the magician. Yeah, so it's like in order to leave a situation, in order to like for you to be with this person, for this person to be with you, it's like finances. Um, someone needs to worry about their finances for now. All right, so why is the star here? What is coming towards Virgo in love? Why is the star here? Well, it's like someone has hope and optimism that things can be worked out. If this is your partner, they want to try to work things out with you. But I mean, you may have other plans like I don't fucking think so. That's what I'm seeing here. But um, other than that, if, you know, the third party situation does resonate with you, this person is hoping to be with you or you're hoping to be with them, especially with the star here. Eight of swords, even though like someone can't see their way out of the situation right now, but it's like someone's keeping the hope alive. See, the devil is in the reverse. Somebody wants to leave some sort of situation that could be toxic, could be a Capricorn involved. It's like trying to break away from like a toxic relationship. The tower, yeah, could be a... Scorpio involved. Why is the Nine of Pentacles here? Coming towards Virgo and love. So someone may have gotten themselves in like a passionate romance with someone else, even though they're married or some shit. But it's like the marriage is not really um, a healthy one. It looks like something that is definitely unhealthy and it's toxic as fuck. So you have the Six of Pentacles. See, someone needs like some sort of help or money. Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles. Yeah, someone's waiting. There's a lot of Pentacles in your reading. Someone's waiting for their financial situation to improve. That way they can leave a situation. Probably leave someone that they have a family with. That's what I'm seeing here. Clarify justice in the reverse. Like, justice in the reverse tells me, like, the person can't get a fucking divorce yet. They don't have enough money or something like that. Why is justice here in the reverse? What is coming towards Virgo in love? Yeah, so like I said, it doesn't have to be you in a relationship. Um, this could be the person that you're dealing with, the situation. They could be in the situation. <laughs> I love when that shit happens. Justice reverse, clarified by justice reverse. Yeah. The four swords. Yeah, so it's like someone could be uh, separated. For some of you, like 1% of you could be separated but still married to this person. Seven of swords in reverse. It's like, whoever the hell the person is, it's like they can't deny it. They don't really want to be where the hell they are. It doesn't have to be marriage, like I said. Eight of Cups in the reverse. Obviously, this is someone who's staying in a situation that they're not happy in. Period. And there's like a major choice that needs to be made here. Why is the lovers here? Coming towards Virgo and love. Why is the lovers here, please? So, you may not know this about your person for some of you. You may not know this situation. The reason why I said that is because um, in the beginning, the moon in the reverse was there. Queen of Wands could be a fire sign involved. Page of Cups in the reverse. And the world in reverse. Yeah, I'm seeing like unrequited feelings, unrequited love. It's like the passion may be there. You know, the sex is probably there, but it's, it's the feelings are not really there. Especially with the Ace of Wands at the bottom of the deck. Like someone just really doesn't want to be with where the fuck they are. 
but there's something stopping them right now. Why is the five of the three of pentacles here for Virgo? Someone needs to move away. Why is the three of pentacles here? The nine of wands in reverse. So the person you're dealing with, Virgo, could be like an alcoholic or uh, like if this is your partner, your partner's an alcoholic, and um it's like they're they're toxic as fuck, right? Why is the three of pentacles coming towards Virgo in love, please? Why is the three of pentacles? No. Clarify the three of pentacles. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah, I see ace of wands in reverse again. It's like a lack of um it's like a lack of desire. There's no desire to really build things or work towards anything with this person. Five of Wands is like someone is really give, giving the fuck up. That's what I'm seeing here. King of Wands is in the reverse, so somebody could be a player from the fucking Himalayas. And perhaps that's why you're leaving this person, right? This could be your partner doing all this shit. And you're just like, you know what? You got me in a third party. I'm out. But finances could be a thing for you. Tell me more for Virgo. Tell me more about the situation, Spirit. What is coming towards Virgo in love? Tell me more about this situation. Tell me more about the situation for Virgo in love. The magician. Yep. Tell me more about the situation for Virgo, please, in love. The eight of swords. Yeah, someone's trapped again. Someone's in something that just is not healthy. Tell me more about the situation for Virgo, please. Tell me more. <laughs> Yeah, see, Nine of Cups is in reverse. That's complete dissatisfaction. Something that you thought, if this is your situation, if you're in this marriage or relationship, it once upon a time it was what the hell you wanted, but um, Nine of Cups in reverse, obviously there's a lot of disappointment there. And I do feel like there's, there's alcoholism involved here on someone's end. And that could be why you don't want to be with this person anymore. They could just have a lot of toxic patterns and... King of Cups in reverse again. So you know the King of Cups in reverse is a um that's a that's a drinking motherfucker. That's someone that's that's way crazy, okay? Especially with the uh, the nine of swords, sleepless nights, the seven of swords. Someone could be so miserable in a situation that they're like drinking a lot. Hmm, interesting. Well, Virgo, you guys tell me what the hell is this going on in this reading, please? Because um, this is this is crazy. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about the situation for Virgo. <clears throat> missing you. So this other person could be missing you. The universe has a plan. If, if that is a third-party situation for you, tell me more. What is coming towards Virgo and love? Tell me more. What else do I need to see for this? What else do I need to see? Renewal. Yeah. I mean, your partner, this person could be wanting a renewal and, you know, to rebuild on this shit. But it's like, nah, I'm good. That's what I'm seeing here. Yeah. So thank you so much, Virgo, for tuning in. I love you all very much. And I will see you guys next time.